CataractCoach.com. Rock the nucleus with needle aspiration. This is for those milky white intumescent cataracts. So here's the cataract. You can see it's milky white. It's intumescent, so it's fluid filled. The cortex has liquefied. So we'll put in a tripan blue dye stain right here. That's great. Let's just fast forward a little bit. Diluting the, the stain now with our anesthetic injection. And then we're going to get a good fill of viscoelastic. We'll put a dispersive viscoelastic to really fill up the anterior chamber and pressurize the anterior chamber. We want the pressure in the AC to be a little higher than the pressure within the capsular bag. That's going to help prevent capsular run out and that dreaded Argentinian flag sign. So here's the viscoelastic going in. It's the dispersive agent. And we want to aim for a pressure of at least 30 millimeters mercury. You can just judge that by touching the cornea. And now what we're going to do is switch over and we'll get a sharp 27 gauge needle on a 3cc syringe, which is about half filled with balanced salt solution. So that needle can also be slightly bent for easier access. Just make sure that it still flows normally. So there's the needle. We're going to poke into the center of the lens capsule, right in the center. Stab in, and you'll see as soon as we poke in, milk will come out. That's the lens milk, the liquefied cortex. And then we aspirate. And we can aspirate a lot of that liquid. Now, here's where you have to continue. So we aspirated some of it, but that's just the anterior liquefied cortex. There's more behind the lens nucleus. So to access that, we go back inside the eye, go in the whole opening we've made, rock the nucleus back and forth to release more of that milky fluid, and now re-aspirate. This has now really and completely depressurized the capsular bag, and we can proceed with the rest of the case relatively normally, and we've really minimized that risk of an Argentinian flag sign. Let's look at the diagrams. There's the nucleus, which is very dense. It's surrounded by liquefied cortex all around because all the cortex is liquefied. When we poke in with the needle, lens milk comes out because the pressure in the bag is high. And then we'll start to aspirate using that syringe, pulling back on it. We'll get out all that anterior liquefied cortex and the nucleus then moves up and blocks the flow. So we need to rock that nucleus back and forth to help release all of the liquefied cortex from even behind the nucleus. Now the capsular bag is completely depressurized and all the liquefied cortex is fully removed. It's much easier to proceed with the case now. So now that we've removed all that liquefied lens cortex, we can make the incision here and do the capsular axis. So the incision is being made. We've of course sped up this video and you'll see it's complete control during capsular axis creation. The resident's able to create a very nice capsular axis without any issues here. So grabbing here with the forceps, bringing it around, and there's no pressure to push towards the zonules. Like normally you'd have this rexus wanting to run out because the posterior pressure of the nucleus due to the liquefied cortex that was trapped. But we removed all that. So now let's just fast forward to the end of the case here. The, the resident will chop the uh, nucleus into many pieces and aspirate it down, and the rest of the case just goes beautifully. So this chop technique is very easy to perform in a white cataract because the visualization is great. The blue dye shows you the capsule edge, and then the nucleus is very white. Here's the end of the case, lens in the capsule bag. That looks great. This patient's going to be really happy. So remember, intumescent white cataract, rock that nucleus. And check out cataractcoach.com. If you're a resident, there's a whole section there right on the front page that gives you the key videos for every year of residency. Ten brief videos that will make you a much better surgeon. Check it out.